As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a fiery orange hue over the tranquil ocean waters, Alexei Petrov and Lena Kovalenko stood at the edge of their chartered boat, anticipation coursing through their veins. The salty breeze tugged at their wetsuits, a stark reminder of the adventure that awaited them in the depths below. Alexei and Lena, hailing from Ukraine, were seasoned divers with a shared fascination for the world beneath the waves. Their bond had been forged through countless underwater expeditions, each filled with the promise of discoveries and exhilarating encounters with marine life. For this particular journey, they had chosen the pristine waters off the coast of Australia, renowned for its vibrant coral reefs and diverse aquatic inhabitants. It was a warm summer day in 1998, when they found themselves on the boat, surrounded by fellow thrill-seekers and a seasoned crew ready to assist them on their underwater odyssey. The duo had heard tales of the breathtaking marine landscapes and the enigmatic creatures that inhabited them. It was a realm where the line between beauty and danger blurred, and that very allure had drawn them to this remote corner of the world. Their preparations had been meticulous. Each piece of diving equipment had been carefully inspected, and their dive plan was etched in their minds. The anticipation hung thick as they reviewed their checklist one final time, ensuring that nothing was left to chance. As the boat's engine roared to life, they exchanged an excited glance, their eyes reflecting determination and reverence for the ocean's mysteries. With a nod to the crew, they slipped into the water, descending into the unknown, their adventure unfolding in the dim, shifting world beneath the waves. As Alexei and Lena descended deeper into the azure abyss off the Australian coast, they marveled at the vibrant coral formations and the kaleidoscope of marine life that surrounded them. Schools of fish darted by, and colorful sea anemones swayed gracefully in the gentle current. It was a mesmerizing world that had always held them in its thrall. However, their tranquil exploration took a terrifying turn as they ventured further into the depths. Suddenly, a shadowy figure loomed on the periphery of their vision. At first, it was a fleeting silhouette, but it rapidly closed in on them with alarming speed. In the heart-stopping moments that followed, they realized they were facing a colossal great white shark. Its massive form, measuring nearly 20 feet in length, sent shockwaves of fear through their bodies. Its cold, obsidian eyes seemed to pierce their souls as it circled them, a predator sizing up its prey. The world around them shifted from serenity to chaos. Panic and adrenaline surged as they tried to maintain their composure. In a desperate bid to deter the shark, they brandished their diving equipment, hoping to appear larger and more threatening. But the behemoth beneath them was undeterred, its sheer power and determination evident in every sinewy movement. Suddenly, the shark struck with lightning speed, its razor-sharp teeth clamping down Alexei's lower body, tearing through his wetsuit and flesh. A guttural cry of agony escaped his lips as searing pain coursed through him. Lena, wide-eyed and paralyzed by shock, watched in horror as her friend was dragged into the inky abyss with a trail of blood staining the water. The brutal attack left Alexei severely injured, his body battered and his future uncertain. Lena's heart was pounding in her chest but knew she had to act swiftly. She reached for her emergency buoyancy device and inflated it, rocketing to the surface to summon help. Meanwhile, Alexei's harrowing struggle continued beneath the waves. He fought to free himself from the shark's relentless grip, his survival instincts kicking into overdrive. With a surge of strength and desperation, he managed to break free, leaving behind a portion of his lower body in the jaws of the relentless predator. Gasping for breath and bleeding profusely, Alexei kicked toward the surface, driven by an iron will to survive. Lena's frantic efforts to summon aid had not gone in vain. The crew on the boat above had seen the commotion and immediately launched a rescue mission. As they hoisted Alexei on board, his ashen face bore the scars of his dangerous encounter. The once pristine waters now swirled with a chilling mix of fear and dread. Lena clung to the side of the boat, her eyes locked on her friend, her relief tempered by the haunting memory of the shark's relentless attack. The battle with the great white shark had left them forever changed, their lives indelibly marked by the relentless fury of the deep. The unforgiving ocean had exacted a harrowing toll. As they sailed back to shore, the scars of that fateful encounter would serve as a stark reminder of the thin line 
that separated awe-inspiring beauty from primal terror. As the boat raced back to the safety of the shore, Lena's heart ached with anguish and despair. She watched helplessly as Alexei lay on the deck, his face contorted in pain and his body bearing the grievous wounds inflicted by the great white shark. The crew on board worked frantically to stabilize him, their urgent efforts starkly contrasting with the tranquility they had sought beneath the waves. Upon their return to land, Alexei was rushed to a nearby medical facility, where a team of skilled doctors and nurses fought valiantly to save his life. His injuries were severe, and the loss of a significant portion of his lower body had left him in critical condition. It was a battle against time, an arduous struggle that stretched the limits of medical expertise. Alexei endured countless surgeries, each one a testament to his unwavering willpower and the tireless dedication of the medical team. But despite their collective efforts and the indomitable spirit that had brought them this far, fate remained unrelenting. The shark's brutal assault had taken a toll that could not be fully repaired. Tragically, Alexei's body weakened, and the toll of his injuries became insurmountable. The man who had once embraced the boundless depths of the ocean now faced an entirely different abyss, an existence forever altered by the relentless jaws of a great white shark. In the quiet hospital room, surrounded by those who loved him, Alexei took his last breath, his battle against the insurmountable finally at an end. The room was suffused with grief, the weight of their loss palpable. As they left the hospital, their footsteps heavy with sorrow, they carried with them the memory of a man who had dared to explore the depths of the ocean's mysteries, a man whose courage had ultimately cost him everything. The sea had claimed a dear companion, leaving behind only the haunting echoes of a harrowing encounter, a testament to the relentless and unforgiving power of the deep. On a bright and sunny morning in Clearwater Beach, Florida, the date was July 17, 2006. The coastal city buzzed with activity as beachgoers gathered to enjoy the beautiful shoreline. Among them was Sarah Mitchell, a 22-year-old college student from Knoxville, Tennessee, who had always dreamed of riding the ocean's waves. Sarah's friends, Jake and Emma, from the same hometown, had joined her on this adventure. Their destination was the captivating shores of Crystal Cove, a stretch of beach renowned for its stunning beauty and thrilling surf. The trio had embarked on this journey to create unforgettable memories and test their skills in the saltwater haven. With surfboards in hand and sunscreen applied generously, they made their way toward the water's edge, eager for the excitement that awaited. The rhythmic sound of the waves crashing onto the shore seemed to whisper promises of exhilarating rides and unmatched freedom. With her sun-kissed hair and radiant smile, Sarah gazed out at the vast horizon, her heart racing with anticipation. She yearned to catch the perfect wave and ride it to the sandy shore, embracing the liberation that surfing always brought her. As the morning sun climbed higher in the Florida sky, the beach came alive with families, tourists, and fellow surf enthusiasts. Laughter and cheers filled the air as they all reveled in the beauty of the coastline. Diligent lifeguards patrolled the waters, ensuring the safety of everyone in the ocean. Little did Sarah, Jake, and Emma know that some of the ocean's inhabitants lay beneath the tranquil surface, including one formidable predator, a bull shark. Bull sharks were notorious for their aggression and tendency to enter shallow waters for prey. As they packed their camping gear, surfboards, and supplies, the air was charged with excitement and the promise of a life-changing adventure. The journey to Crystal Cove held the potential for courage to be tested, friendships to be strengthened, and the unpredictable power of the ocean to reveal itself. With boards waxed and spirits soaring, Sarah, Jake, and Emma were poised to conquer the waves, completely unaware of the encounter that loomed before them, a fateful meeting that would forever alter the course of their lives. As the day wore on, the sun reached its zenith, casting a brilliant glow upon the sparkling waters of Crystal Cove. Sarah, Jake, and Emma had been catching waves for hours, their exhilarating rides giving them a taste of the ocean's power. With each surge and swell, they felt more connected to the sea, their worries melting away in the wave's embrace. Unbeknownst to them, the bull shark had been lurking nearby, drawn by the commotion of the surfers and the enticing scent of seawater mingled with sunscreen. 
It had been tracking their movements for some time, observing their every splash and stroke. In an unfortunate twist of fate, Sarah paddled away from her friends, further out into the cove. She had spotted what looked like the perfect wave, one that promised an unforgettable ride. With a determined stroke, she paddled toward it, her heart pounding with anticipation. Little did Sarah know that beneath her, the bull shark had honed in on her solitary figure. Its sleek gray body glided effortlessly through the water, closing the gap between them. With each silent approach, its predatory instincts grew stronger. Finally, the bull shark struck as Sarah paddled onto the wave. In a swift, heart-stopping moment, the massive predator lunged from below, its jaws snapping shut around Sarah's right leg. The force of the attack propelled her out of the water. Her board was left behind in a spray of foam. The pain was excruciating as Sarah felt the shark's razor-sharp teeth puncture her flesh and crush her bones. She screamed in agony, her cries echoing over the waves. Blood clouded the water around her, a stark testament to the ferocity of the attack. Jake and Emma, not far from the scene, heard Sarah's cries and turned to witness the nightmare unfolding. Horror gripped their hearts as they saw their friend being thrashed about by the bull shark, her life hanging in the balance. Reacting with adrenaline-fueled urgency, Jake paddled toward Sarah as fast as he could, his surfboard slicing through the water. He knew that every second counted. The bull shark, unwilling to relinquish its prey, circled back for another strike. With a surge of strength born from desperation, Jake reached Sarah and managed to pull her onto his board. Her leg was mangled and blood continued to pour into the ocean. Emma joined them, tears streaming down her face as she witnessed the harrowing scene. The bull shark, frustrated by its failed attack, continued to circle the trio, its lifeless eyes fixed on its intended meal. Sarah's life hung in the balance as they fought to return to shore, their hearts pounding with fear and determination. The once idyllic day at Crystal Cove had descended into a nightmare, and the battle for Sarah's survival had just begun. As Jake, Emma, and Sarah clung to their shattered surfboard's remnants, they knew their desperate battle was far from over. Sarah's leg bled profusely, staining the water around them in a grim testament to the viciousness of the bull shark's attack. With each passing moment, her life hung in the balance. The bull shark continued to circle them, its dark, unrelenting eyes reflecting a primal hunger that sent shivers down their spines. It was a relentless predator, unwilling to abandon its pursuit of the injured surfer. In their frantic efforts to reach the safety of the shore, Jake and Emma strained their bodies to the limit. Every stroke was a testament to their determination to save Sarah. Sensing their vulnerability, the bull shark lunged at the group, snapping its jaws shut in a futile attempt to reclaim its prey. Sarah, despite the unbearable pain and blood loss, remained remarkably composed. With each attack, she clung to Jake's surfboard, her eyes locked onto the menacing silhouette of the bull shark. Fear and determination burned within her, a fierce resolve to survive. A haunting sense of isolation engulfed them as they struggled through the turbulent waters. The once crowded beach seemed impossibly distant, a mirage on the horizon. They knew they were alone in this life-or-death battle against nature's apex predator. Finally, after an eternity, they reached the shallows near the shore. With their last energy reserves, they dragged Sarah onto the beach, her leg a gruesome sight. Bystanders rushed to their aid, their faces etched with shock and horror at the gruesome scene that had unfolded before them. Emergency services were summoned, and Sarah was quickly loaded into an ambulance, her life still hanging in the balance. As the vehicle sped away, the realization of the traumatic encounter began to sink in for Jake and Emma. The sun had set on what was meant to be a perfect day of surfing, leaving behind a haunting tale of survival and resilience. The trio's bond had been forged in the crucible of one of the most terrifying ordeals they could ever imagine. For Jake, Emma, and Sarah, the physical and emotional scars would serve as a lasting reminder of their harrowing battle against the relentless fury of the sea. On a warm summer day in June 2022, the Anderson family gathered at the serene shores of Coral Haven, a hidden gem nestled along the coastline of South Carolina. The family comprised Sarah Anderson, a vibrant 34-year-old woman, her husband Michael, their two children, Olivia and James, and their beloved golden retriever, Charlie. 
The Andersons hailed from the bustling city of Charleston, South Carolina, seeking a brief escape from the urban grind. Their journey to Coral Haven was a simple desire to create lasting memories and bask in the beauty of the pristine shoreline. Little did they know that this idyllic day would soon take a harrowing turn. Sarah, a dedicated nurse, had been yearning for a break from her demanding job, while Michael, an architect, welcomed the chance to unwind with his family. Olivia and James, both energetic teenagers, were eager to embrace the beach's freedom and the ocean's excitement. As they arrived at Coral Haven, the azure waters stretched before them, the rhythmic waves beckoning them to embrace the joy of the sea. They set up their beach chairs and umbrellas, laughter and excitement filling the air. Unbeknownst to them, beneath the surface of those inviting waters lurked an unexpected and terrifying presence, a pack of hungry sharks that had ventured dangerously close to the shore. These waters were their domain. Today, they had chosen to explore the shallows, the date was June 17, 2002, which would forever be etched into the Anderson family's memory for reasons they could never have imagined. As the family splashed and played in the gentle surf, unaware of the impending danger, the shadowy figures of the sharks grew nearer, and their predatory instincts honed in on a potential feast. What began as a day of sun, sand, and laughter was about to take a devastating and tragic turn. As the Andersons, bathed in the golden hues of the setting sun, were soon to find themselves facing an unimaginable nightmare, an onslaught by a relentless pack of sharks that would change their lives forever. As the Andersons reveled in the beauty of Coral Haven's shoreline, the predators lurking beneath the ocean's surface silently closed in on their unsuspecting prey. Sarah and Michael watched over Olivia and James, who were bodyboarding in the shallow waters their joyful laughter filling the air. Little did they know that beneath them, the keen senses of the sharks had locked onto the vibrations and splashes created by the playing children. With a sudden and chilling presence, the sharks, driven by instinct and hunger, began to circle closer to the shore. Their powerful bodies moved effortlessly through the water, closing the gap between them and their potential quarry. The moment of terror unfolded when Olivia, perched atop her bodyboard, felt an unsettling tug at her leg. She initially dismissed it as seaweed, but the sensation persisted, growing more forceful with each passing second. Panic surged as she realized that something far more sinister was afoot. In the blink of an eye, the water erupted into chaos. Its sleek body glistened with the remnants of daylight. A massive shark lunged toward Olivia, its rows of razor-sharp teeth glinting in the fading sun. Sarah and Michael's screams filled the air as they watched in sheer horror, helpless to intervene. With lightning speed, the shark clamped its jaws around Olivia's leg. The searing pain and shock rendering her momentarily mute, blood mingled with the ocean water, turning the serene scene into a nightmare of crimson and foam. Frozen in fear, James watched as his sister fought for her life. In an adrenaline-fueled frenzy, Sarah and Michael rushed into the water, desperate to save their daughter from the jaws of the relentless predator. The struggle was ferocious, but their determination was unwavering. As the Andersons fought valiantly to free Olivia from the shark's grip, the other sharks in the pack, sensing the commotion, joined the fray. The once calm waters now churned with chaos, as multiple sharks circled, driven by their primal instincts to feed. The battle between man and beast raged on, a fight for survival against impossible odds. The relentless and powerful sharks refused to yield, their instinctual hunger driving them forward. The beachgoers who had witnessed the horrifying spectacle stood frozen, their screams echoing in the salty air. Amid this terrifying struggle, the Anderson family was locked in a desperate battle to save Olivia. Their love and determination pitted against the primal instincts of the ocean's apex predators. Amid the chaos and desperation, Sarah, Michael, and James continued their relentless fight to free Olivia from the shark's grasp. With every ounce of their strength, they pulled, pushed, and screamed, their voices echoing in the backdrop of the setting sun. Finally, with a bone-chilling snap, the shark released its hold on Olivia's leg, vanishing into the depths as quickly as it had struck. The immediate danger had passed, but the horrifying ordeal was far from over. Olivia's leg was mangled, her body in shock, and her life forever changed. The beachgoers, initially paralyzed by the sheer terror of the attack, 
rallied together, forming a makeshift stretcher with towels and boards to carry Olivia to safety. Sarah, Michael, and James clung to their beloved daughter and sister, their eyes filled with anguish and disbelief. They had fought off the relentless predators, but the cost had been high. Olivia's screams of pain cut through the air as they rushed her to the nearest medical facility. The road to recovery would be long and grueling. Olivia's leg bore the scars of her harrowing encounter with the sharks, a haunting reminder of the day their family had faced the unimaginable. Surgeons worked tirelessly to repair the damage, but the physical and emotional wounds ran deep. Their idyllic vacation had transformed into a nightmare, and the Andersons would never view the ocean in the same light. The trauma of that fateful day would forever shape their lives, reminding them of the fragility of existence and the unrelenting power of nature. As news of the harrowing shark attack spread, Coral Haven implemented stringent safety measures along its coastline, urging visitors to exercise caution and respect the ocean's mysteries. The once serene shore now bore the weight of a tragic event, forever etched into its sands. The Anderson family's bond grew more potent in the face of adversity, their love for Olivia unwavering. They faced the challenging journey of rehabilitation and healing together, determined to overcome the physical and emotional scars the pack of sharks left. The incident served as a chilling reminder that, Despite the allure of the ocean, its depths held secrets and dangers that could surface when least expected. The Andersons had confronted those dangers head-on, emerging as survivors and testaments to the strength of family and the resilience of the human spirit.